Hi YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ebony and this is Forever Ebony. So today I am here with my new Coach Quilted Tabby in the size 26. And I have affectionately named this bag Coco for obvious reasons. So I've had this bag now for about four days and I have been carrying it nonstop. I've taken it out to a lounge, out shopping, to the nail salon, to a grocery store. So I got to carry it a little while and I just wanna go over the bag with you guys and give you a tour, show you what fits inside. And since I am so in love with this bag, I've already purchased it in the size 20 in this color that Coach is calling buff to me is a peachy nude color i don't know you guys there is just something really special about these quilted tabbies and i am just in love so for those of you that aren't aware these quilted tabbies first made their debut on coach's spring 2024 runway show and immediately after the show some of them were available as buy now bags all of those bags sold out really really quick so i wasn't able to get my hands on one of them then but now that I'm looking back on it, I'm kind of glad that I wasn't because I really, really do like this black Napa leather and the gold hardware. And this combination wasn't available with the Buy Now bags. Now, before we start, I do just want to say that this year I am really trying to cut back on the amount of contemporary bags I purchased. I went absolutely crazy with contemporary bags last year and I ended up having a lot of regrets. Most of those bags I've since sold or given away. And this year I really want to add more luxury bags to my collection so there's not going to be as many contemporary bag purchases now with that being said right when i was getting ready to purchase this bag i saw this bag from tori birch i just knew that i was not going to be purchasing both of them and i really really love the design of the tori birch bag so i initially went with it after i purchased it i asked you guys in a poll on my community page which one you would go with and overwhelmingly most of you said the quilted tabby so after seeing your response my curiosity just got the best of me and i took the 40 minute drive to see both of the bags in person i went by coach first and immediately i was in love with the quilted tabby but they only had that bag in the size 33 and the black one had pewter hardware and you guys me and pewter hardware that's just not my thing because the pewter hardware it just chips so easily after that i went to tory birch and as soon as i felt the leather on the carrier i was so disappointed it was too late for me to cancel the order that i had already placed but i just knew i wasn't a fan so i ended up ordering the quilted tabby as soon as i got back in my car now the tory birch bag it did arrive and i recorded some footage just so you can see it's a beautiful beautiful bag don't get me wrong but the leather on it to me just felt a little bit off to me it felt like it was some sort of coating on top kind of like the coating that coach had on the ombre pillow tabbies a few years back now i understand why coach chose to put coating on top of those bags because of the ombre effect but it just didn't make any sense to me to have it on this bag it just wasn't the luxurious leather that i was hoping for so that bag went back and a couple days later my quilted tabby arrived I already knew I was going to love this feather because I got to fill it in the bigger size, but I had no idea how much I would actually love it. You guys, I really, really love this bag. And a lot of other people must do too because it keeps being sold out. So first I want to show you a tour around the bag, but for starters, let's just mention the obvious resemblance to the Chanel Classic Flap. It's definitely there, especially around the chain. It's a little more obvious on the smaller one with the lipstick prints. Maybe because Chanel had a similar print on the classic flap back in the 90s. I honestly do see a resemblance to the Gucci Marmont as well. And then there's also an obvious nod to the Coach Pillow Madison with this diagonal quilting. Even without that, I still feel this bag stands on its own. So here's a close up of the front of the bag. And you guys, the Napa leather on this bag is so, so soft. If you own or have touched one of the quilted hard bags from Coach, this leather feels exactly the same. Right on the front is the C logo. Underneath is a push lock closure to open and close the bag. Here is the side of the bag. And then there is the hang tag. I'm thinking about getting this hang tag hot stamp and just putting my name on it in gold foil. I think that would be really pretty. Here is the back of the bag and on the back of the bag, of course, there is a pocket that has a magnetic closure. The other side, 
And then here is the top of the bag. On the top, there are four grommeted holes that the chain passes through. And then there is the bottom. So as you can see, the quilting does extend to the bottom of the bag as well. And now on to the size 20. So it's really the same bag, just scaled down. There are some differences between the two. And of course, I'm going to point those out. So the first difference is the C logo on this one is covered in leather. Here is the side of the bag the bag and on the back the pocket on the 20 does not have a magnetic closure the other side the top and then there is the bottom so i will say that the leather on both of these bags are delicate i've been careful while carrying the 26 these past couple of days but honestly i haven't handled it any different from the way i handle any of my other bags if you are kind of nervous about the leather i would just be mindful where you sit it at and i don't think that you will have any problems for the most part, when I've been wearing mine, I've just been wearing it on my arm or I'll just carry it by the straps. So I'm going to be showing you what I have inside my quilted tabby 26. So to open up the bag, again, there is a push lock closure. On the hardware, of course, it does say coach. Right above it is the inside pocket and on it, it says the tabby bag, genuine Napa leather. To open the inside pocket, there is a magnetic snap and the inside is lined in a woven fabric. Inside of the bag, I have my Louis Vuitton Lou wallet, my Louis Vuitton reverse monogram card holder, a couple of receipts, in the back compartment, I have my Gucci key pouch, a hand sanitizer. So that is all I'm carrying inside this bag. I do want to let you know that a phone does fit inside. I'm gonna grab my phone just to show you and also a full size wallet does fit. So I'm gonna show you that too. But I wanna show you the inside really quickly. Inside of the bag is lined in a heavy duty woven fabric. There are four compartments, one in the back, a zipper compartment, one up front, and again, the one in front of the bag. So here is my full size MCM wallet. I'm just gonna put it in the front compartment. So it will fit. It's gonna take up most of the space, but it's in there. And there's a little room on the side, just the side in a chapstick. Here is my phone and this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max and it just slides right in the back pocket. It can also fit inside the zipper compartment. So let's just try that out. So inside is the dust bag and my phone just slides right inside the pocket. Now on to the size 20. I just have to be honest and mention that the leather on this one is not as soft as the one on the 26. The leather on the 26 is a lot more soft and supple. It really just feels like my fingers just sink inside of this leather. This one, the leather feels good. I mean, it's not like the Tory Burch bag, but the leather is just not as soft as the 26. Inside of the Quilted Tabby 20, it's kind of the same setup. There is the back compartment. There's no middle zipper compartment. So that is one other difference with this bag, but you do have the front compartment and also the front inside pocket that opens and closes with the magnet. Here is the dust bag. And then I'm just gonna try to put everything that was in the 26 in the 20. Now off top, the full size MCM wallet is not going to fit inside this bag. I mean, it's a little longer than the bag, just for size reference. So I do have the regular tabby 20 in the color dark stone. And one thing that bothers me with that one is my Gucci key case does not fit inside. I mean, it fits inside, but it's kind of difficult to close. So I wanna make sure that this one fits inside because that really does bother me. Let's just test this one out. And it fits inside, it's not sticking off the top and it does close. So that is a good thing because I use this Gucci key case every day. So let's see what else we're gonna be able to fit. So here's my phone. Again, it's the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And just to show you, it fits inside as well. Now I won't be carrying my phone inside this bag. So I'm just gonna take this out and we're going to try the Louis Vuitton Lou wallet. Now, this is going to be a tight fit, and it's because of the key case. I'm not going to carry a compact wallet like this in this bag when I carry it. I'm just going to carry a card case. So here again is my Louis Vuitton reverse monogram card case, and it's going to go right in the bag. My hand sanitizer, AirPods, and let's just put this chapstick inside. 
here's everything inside. So overall, I would say that this bag will be a grab and go bag. It's definitely not a bag where I'll be able to carry a lot of stuff, but I knew that when I purchased it. I just think this is the cutest neutral colored bag. I can already see it being really cute with light wash jeans and I didn't have any colors like this in my collection, so I am happy to have it. So here they are, the newest additions to my collection, my Coach Quilted Tabbies in the size 20 and 26. These bags are just so cute, and of course, they come in multiple sizes. There is a wristlet, and of course, there is the 33, and it comes in a lot of different colors. I would say if you like the bag but don't like any of the colors available like I did with the Buy Now bag, hold tight because trust me, Coach will have this bag in so many different colors like they did with the Cool Tabby. So let me know, you guys, what do you think about these bags? Do you already have a quilted tabby? If so, I would love to know what color you have, what size you have. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video.